How many of you in the school this year, you have either, you've heard, you've seen, but somebody in this school, not you, but you have, have seen or heard a classmate talking about or entertaining the idea. And I need you to be honest. How many of you in this school this year, you have heard one of your classmates talking about or pondering the idea of maybe committing suicide and ending your life? Raise your hand. Hold those hands high. Hold them high. Because every one of those hands right now represents a heartbeat in this school. Every one of your hands represents a young man and a young lady in here that has been contemplating maybe giving up an option. Maybe they feel like life's just too difficult and too tough and they feel alone and they feel isolated and they've seen it on social media and they've seen it on TV and they've got the idea that maybe I should just end my life and I see tears and I see the emotions because I know it's real and I want all of you that pick on kids and how you treat people and how you are tearing people down, you need to realize how you are treating us is causing some of us to think that possibly ending our life is a solution. Your words hurt us. And you know what the truth is? A lot of you wear masks and you treat people a certain way. But the truth is you hide behind your mask because you probably have battled suicidal thoughts yourself. And so you mask it and you act like your, thick, your skin's thick. But really on the inside, there's times you feel alone and feel abandoned. And I hear the tears, man. All of you listen to me, young men. And young lady that's in the school right now, any of you that have been contemplating and you've actually thought about, maybe I should just end my life, I would be the very first one to look at you face to face and tell you very boldly, but very matter of factly, don't you dare die. Don't you dare believe the lie that ending your life, don't you dare believe the lie that ending your life is any answer or any solution because inside of every single one of you that have been contemplating maybe I'm alone and I'm isolated and nobody cares about me and I feel alone is a lie. You are not alone. You are not by yourself. There are people and friends and family and teachers, people here that believe about you. And if you end your life, and I know this is painful and it's wrong, the emotion is here. But these are real issues that you and I and we are struggling with. And you need to understand, every one of you that have been contemplating and even embracing or entertaining the idea, you need to know inside of every one of you is something so special and so great. And if you rob yourself of what you were destined to be, if you and listen, you know why I talk about suicide? I talk about suicide not because I read books about it, because I wanted to talk about it. I didn't want to get educated about suicide, so I wanted to learn about it. I talk about because I know when those kids, how they treated me and the words they used to say to me. I know what it was like when I was living with my sister and she went to work and I climbed up into the garage when she was gone and I climbed that ladder and I grabbed that rope. I know what it's like to be on the brink. And I'm telling all of you in here, young men and young ladies that have been battling some of these thoughts, it's a lie. Look at me. And I can, I can spot out many of you that I know that these are the thoughts that you've battled with this year. They're lies. Don't you dare rob you of what you're born to be. Listen, you're not alone. There are many of us that battle these same thoughts, these same pains, these same struggles. But inside of every one of you, I promise you, if you believe the lie and actually try to take your own life out, you're robbing this, this community, this school, your family, and you're robbing yourself 
of what you were destined to be because inside of all of you who are battling the ideas of giving up on life, you're robbing, some of you are born to be doctors and scientists and teachers and entertainers and musicians and radiologists and social workers, counselors. Some of you are born and destined to do amazing things that can impact and change this world. And if you believe the lie and you let the life and the world try to take you out, you are robbing us of what you were born and destined to be. Listen, my little girl, I have a little girl that's 18 months. In the future, she could get sick and have some disease. And maybe you're the one that's born and destined to create the cure. And if you end your life and you rob us of what you were born to be, I need you. And those next to you need you. You're not alone. Don't believe those whispers and don't entertain those thoughts.